Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring the medical realm of urea, specifically its intravenous application. As always, this discussion is for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always consult a medical professional. Description Urea, when used intravenously, falls under the drug class of miscellaneous diuretics. One of its primary applications is as an intraamniotic agent, administered by injection into the uterus to induce abortion. This procedure is to be carried out only by or under the direct supervision of a qualified doctor. Before taking this medicine When deciding to use a medication, the potential risks and benefits must be carefully weighed. Before using urea, consider the following. Allergies it's crucial to inform your doctor if you've ever had an unusual or allergic reaction to urea or any other medicines. Also, let your healthcare provider know if you have allergies to foods, dyes, preservatives, or animals. For non-prescription products, always read the label or package ingredients meticulously. Pediatric While there isn't specific data comparing the use of urea in teenagers to other age groups, it's not anticipated to cause different side effects or problems in teenagers compared to adults. Breastfeeding. There haven't been adequate studies in women to determine the potential risks of using this medication while breastfeeding. Always weigh the potential benefits against the potential risks before taking this medication during breastfeeding. Interactions. Urea might interact with other medications. It's essential to inform your doctor about all medications you're currently taking. Some notable interactions include medicines like amikacin, amikacin liposome, arsenic trioxide, droperidol, ephedrine, and levomethadil. Additionally, using urea with licorice may cause an increased risk of certain side effects. Other medical problems. Your doctor should be informed if you have any other medical conditions, especially diabetes mellitus, fibroid tumors of the uterus, kidney disease, liver disease, sickle cell disease, dosage, the dosage of urea varies among patients. Always follow your doctor's recommendations. For causing abortion through injection, adults and teenagers might receive up to 250 milliliters ML, injected through the abdomen into the uterus. This might be repeated 48 hours after the first dose if necessary. Side effects. Like all medications, urea can cause side effects. Some of the side effects include pain in the lower abdomen, weakness, confusion, irregular heartbeat, muscle cramps or pain, numbness, tingling, unusual tiredness, and weakness in the legs. Some common side effects include nausea, vomiting, headache, and diarrhea. After the procedure, side effects like chills, fever, foul-smelling vaginal discharge, increased uterine bleeding, and pain in the lower abdomen might occur. Always consult your doctor about any unusual symptoms. Interactions Urea might interact with other medications, supplements, and herbal products. It's vital to inform your doctor about all substances you're currently taking to prevent any adverse interactions. Avoid. During the abortion procedure using urea, it's recommended to drink fluids to prevent excessive water loss from the body. FAQ. Many might wonder about the age restrictions for intravenous urea. Currently, while there isn't specific data for teenagers, it's not expected to cause different side effects or problems in teenagers compared to adults. Closing That concludes our overview of intravenous urea. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for joining us.